Our members, the 200, some 200 property and casualty insurers in Canada, have been seeing an increase in water damage and in property claims related to severe weather over the past two or three decades. So we're interested in seeing how we can adapt to that, how we can reduce costs, and we're also interested in seeing what we might expect in the next 10 to 20 years. It's directly affecting our industry now. It will be much warmer winters, three to five degrees Celsius warming in the winter time. Uh, we'll have warmer summers, although the warmer summers will be not quite as in number of degrees as much as warming as averaged in the winter time. We will have uh, reduced snow per, uh, so that uh, as precipitation, so we'll have less snow on the ground in the spring. So if you're a spring skier, you might want to rethink your strategy. Uh, but then looking at the events we're really focusing on is more heavy rain events, more or less coast to coast to coast. Uh, these rain events will occur with uh, greater frequency, uh, intensities will go up somewhat, uh, and more and more hot days. Uh, this leads to other factors, uh, let's say combining with, for example, sea level rise on our east and west and north coasts. Uh, when you have a storm that is, uh, let's say, more intense with the higher sea level, the, what we call the storm surge, the wind pushing the water up in big waves onto the coast, will mean areas such as downtown Halifax Harbour under huge uh, threat. Uh, places like Vancouver International Airport, these will have impacts. and. We need responses to these, both in infrastructure, early warning systems, public education programs.